will call the special meeting to order. Debbie, would you call the roll, please? Uh, Burr? Here. Monet? Here. Serta? Here. Graf? Here. Manny? Here. Montemayor? Here. Perez? Here. Peterson? Here. Reinfleisch? Rinfleisch, sorry. I did that all night the other night. Sigali? Here. Stefan? Excused. Van Akron? Here. Vanderweel? Here. Warner? Here. One, two, three, thirteen. Quorum's present. Okay. Uh, tonight we have a presentation by the Great Lakes Company. Um, you got the letter in your hand, uh, Steve handed out. They requested to come up and uh, give a presentation on Blue Harbor. So, gentlemen, it's all yours who would like to come up and start speaking. No, we're not in closed session. Yeah, we're not closed yet. Hello, my name is Michael Schroeder. I'm the uh, general counsel for the Great Lakes Companies. And uh, we're here this evening to, uh, to uh, request some changes to the, uh, related to the, the ownership of the units by uh, purchaser of the, con the condominium units. That's, um, I think the, the, in general terms, that's what we're outlining in our letter. Mayor, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to, uh, what I'm supposed to talk about at, the, at this point. I know that you had, you, you, you um, we're looking for some, some just changes related to the ownership, uh, restrictions on the ownership of the, of the units. Okay. I guess getting the explanation of why you're asking for these changes or as far as you can uh, go, how much you can give us, open session. Okay. Um, Uh, I'm John Emery. I'm the chief executive officer of the Great Lakes Companies, and the, um, in a nutshell, the request that has been put in front of you in, in writing is to modify some of the restrictions on the ownership of the units. Right now, we have all those units reserved and sold, and we're expected to close them shortly. The, um, effectively, what we are asking for is a slight modification before we go to final contract on those units to comply with what are um, really kind of national um, national requirements in, 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 in the terms of the way they're used. Those, those condominium units are part of our resort project. Every single one of those condominium units will be in a rental pool as of right now. Those owners have all elected that to be in a rental pool. They're all paying occupancy tax as, as the council is aware. Um, the, that, that project as it comes to closure and we've done further review is a very unique structure by the way. Um, that project, there's been no other project like that with those types of restrictions done that we could find in Wisconsin or even myself from out of the state of Wisconsin that we've looked at. The changes are to comply so that when all these units are put into the rental pools that we comply with all, not just Wisconsin law, but all national requirements in terms of what we sold um, those condominiums for. So the, in a nutshell, that's what it is. There's no impact. In fact, we are offering um, we are ensuring that the occupancy taxes derived by those condominiums are even more certain now as, than they were back six months ago when the, when the, when the condominiums were, were started to be built. So really the changes are to, to, to clarify certain of the residency restrictions in those condominiums before they go to final contract, which happens well, starting June 15th, July 1st, something like that. So here in about hopefully six weeks. Uh, Mr. Emery, you know, this would be a good opportunity if, if Great Lakes would desire. You've got a couple minutes to uh, perhaps give the council an update and the city an update as to how the project is going and when you're planning on having your opening, you know, if you wish. Absolutely. Come on up, Tom. But the, um, one of the things that, and, and, and Tom Sather, who's our director of development, gave an update on the project, one of the things that these changes um, are um, being asked for is because now that the condos are almost ready to be built, 
we can really clarify exactly the residency restrictions on the condos going forward. When they were all conceived, if you go back six months ago, before they were sold, we weren't sure how long or if, you know, how long it would take to build and sell all those condominiums. The fact that we've been able to get them all built and open before the PGA, we're very pleased with. Tom will give you the update on that. Um, and so this is kind of the final step, if you will, of making sure that those things close on time, that they're occupied on time, and start throwing off taxes effectively before the biggest event that's going to have happened here in a long time to generate taxes happens. But let me have Tom update you on where the project stands. Yeah. Most of you know me by now. <clears throat> Tom Safe, the Director of Development, and I'm sure most of you have seen the project drive by once in a while, but uh, in a summary, uh, with the resort project, uh, as everybody knows, we were fast-tracking as much as we could the whole way through this process to get it open for summer. And summer effectively starts uh, June 15th. First couple of weeks, kids are out of school, it's a little slow. But starting the 15th, that's peak, that's peak season for resorts here in Wisconsin. So we're trying to get that goal accomplished with the resort, and then also, of course, have it open for the PGA this summer. And we've been shooting for July uh, 15th for our opening date uh, from day one. Uh, with, with a groundbreaking that we had, I believe, I'm sorry, June 15th, I believe early June last year, the last week of May. So building, you know, a 200,000 square foot plus facility in a year is a, a heck of a task. And if you've driven by and seen all the trades out there, seen the guys working like crazy for the last year, they've had a heck of a, a battle to, to fight. But um, we are right now projecting to have our grand opening on the 8th of June about one week ahead of schedule. Uh, I think we're going to make it. You know, there's still a lot of work that has to be done. But it's finish work. You know, it's carpet, it's paint, it's moving furniture in, things like that. So from a, a production standpoint on, on the convention center and the resort, it's going very well. Um, both are tracking right down to the last percent on budget. I mean, we're going to be right there, just like you expect at any job. Um, no, no nasty surprises. You know, early on we had some... Uh, additional site civil costs that you know made it made people a little nervous but um, we've been able to control things on the other end so it really is tracking well I, I, think, I think the best surprise for everybody is the condos because th the big question mark as you all know was are they going to sell are, th are there going to be any of them open for summer are there be any of them open for the PJ what's going to happen and until we got in the sales process which we couldn't start until you know last fall no one knew and the really, the biggest, most pleasant surprise so far in this project has been uh, the excitement the marketplace has had for the condominiums. And they have sold much more quickly than anticipated. As you probably remember, we had to have the whole condo site divided into 16 individual parcels, anticipating we'd build a building, sell a few units, later on build another building. Well, we were able to get enough um, pre-sales activity done to build them all at once, as you know. So we are, we are on pace now to have uh, the first eight units uh, eight buildings, which is actually 32 units, scheduled to be um, delivered by mid-June, and then the last uh, last eight buildings by mid-July. So really, when when the demand starts heating up, you know, for pre-PGA events, which is about the third week in July, um, all the resort units and all the condo units should be up and running. So that that's really been a pleasant surprise for us, and as everybody can tell, they are just working like crazy out there. So we're very pleased with things are going along and. If anybody has any questions, you can ask them to me now, or you can always call me at the office. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Alderman Perez. Thank you, Your Honor. I, I take it when we go into executive session, closed session, we're going to discuss specifics? Yes. Thank That's you. That's what we need it for. Exactly. Alderman Warner. Oh, excuse me, before we do it, Michael, you have to call meeting? This is a joint meeting? Did you call? Uh, Your Honor, we don't have a, a quorum here tonight. Okay. But, um, yeah, we'll just observe as public tonight. Then, so. Okay. So. You don't have three from the? Yes, you need four. You need four? Right. Oh, four. Four, okay. Yeah, okay. Phil, Phil's not here. Okay. So he's here. Okay. Alderman Warner. On, on that, Your Honor, I'd, I'd move that we convene in closed session under the provisions of section 19.851E of the Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of negotiating and deliberating possible amendment of the development agreement with the Great Lakes companies where competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. We have a motion before us. Any discussion on a motion? 
All in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. Oh, roll call. Roll call. Bonet? Aye. Serta? Aye. Graf? Aye. Manny? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Perez? Aye. Peterson? Aye. Rindfleisch? Aye. Zagali? Aye. Stefan's not here. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warner? Aye. And Berg? Aye. Third. Motion carried. Okay. I'll let everybody 